Hey everyone, I wanted to do an intro tutorial on Maya. So if you already know this stuff, you might want to skip this. The things I'm going to be focusing on, focusing on first are navigation, selecting objects, and just some very basic modeling. And I'm probably going to explain some of the concepts of modeling as well. So to start, we're just going to figure out how to navigate the scene. First, if you click, that just, if you left click, you're just getting your selecting object thing. That's not going to do anything for you. So the key that you're going to be using the most in this is the Alt key. If you hold Alt and then left click, now we can actually pivot around the scene. If you want to zoom into the scene, you're going to hold Alt and right click and then just go left to right and that'll zoom in for you. If you want to uh, actually like pan, like slide up, down, left and right, you're going to hold the Alt key and hit the middle mouse key. So once you have that down, just try kind of using those in conjunction. Uh, just, you know, zoom in a little bit, slide and roll. So just go over those again. We have Alt, left click, pivots, Alt, middle mouse, slides, and Alt, right click, zooms in when you slide left and right. Okay, now we have that in order. We're going to jump to the next object or the next thing in the list. We're going to create a very basic shape. We can, if your scene looks like the, if your scene doesn't look like this, you're probably in the wrong area. You might have one that looks something similar to one of these. So you want to go to polygons, and also before that, you want to make sure from this drop-down list up here that you're under modeling. And once you're under modeling, you can click the little cube here, and it'll either automatically create a cube, or maybe you'll have to drag into the scene like this, and it'll like cube base will show and then you have to lift. Some of the Maya versions are a little bit differently, different, so you'll just have to determine that a little bit. In this version, you don't have to do it that way. The other way you can create a cube is just go up to Create, go to Polygons Primitive, and then here's all your different shapes you can create, and we're just going to create a cube. Okay, we actually have two cubes in the scene right now, and uh, that'll help us to kind of show some other concepts I want to do with navigation and such. So the first one is selecting objects and moving them. Right now we have an object selected and we're actually selecting through both of these right now. You can't really tell that there's two. So left click on the object and once that's done we're going to hit the W key and that's going to go into our move tool. You noticed over here on the side when I hit W it switched from my selecting tool right here to my move tool and you can just hit W to do that. And once you've done that you can, you know, still pivot around the object. Uh, and then we're going to grab, you can grab any of these directions to move the object. Let's grab the blue one and slide it on the Z. You can see the Z down there. So blue is always going to be your Z axis in space. So we're going to slide that over. And now there's the other cube. So we can grab that one. We could slide it up. Or we can go over here and we can slide it to the on the X axis. Grab into that one right there. Or you can just go like this. I don't recommend using this because usually what happens is you think you put it in the right place, but it just kind of throws things off. If you do want to slide an object along like that, I'd grab these square ones, you kind of flat squares instead, and that'll keep it on this axis. It'll never go further away from us or closer than us. Okay, another quick navigation tip while we have this out is if you hit F, it'll zoom in on that object. So now it's pivoting around this object specifically. If we go on this one, we're zooming on it. See how like I selected that one? But it's still pivoting around our initial object. We could either middle mouse, alt middle mouse, and slide over to that, and now it'll pivot on that. Or we could just click the object and hit F, and it's going to zoom it into full view. That's really useful when you're jumping around through a scene. I'm just using another way to zoom out is if you have a, a middle mouse roller, you can just use the wheel to roll out. It's a little bit snappier though, so I'd recommend using Alt some of the time. Okay, now that we have a little bit of navigation in order, and you can still select even though you have this tool selected, you can still do basic selections, just to let you know that. Remember earlier I said just plain left click does that? You can multi-select when you're using left click and dragging across the selection. Okay, we're going to click this object and just hit the delete key and get rid of it. 
and we're going to zoom into this one and I'm going to talk about what makes a 3D object really quick. So we can break this thing down into three different components. Those components are faces, which we're going to right click and go to face and kind of a good way to sort of show what the face is. We're going to be like this and that actually breaks it apart. So this cube is created of faces, which are all of these. And if you're to break up and figure out what a face is created of, we can go to edge and each face is created of these multiple edges. And to create an edge, you need two points in space. So if you go to verts and those are our points in space, you have one, two. So a face is, as this whole face here is constructed of these verts or points, but they're always called verts edges the line that connects the verts and then the face all of the all those components together and then when you take and put those on each side you create a three-dimensional object so that's kind of the basics of how it's constructed and if you wanted to model this we could move those different verts and points in space so let's start by just moving faces in space. That's your simplest way of doing this. So we're gonna right click, go down the face, and now we'll just click on a face we want. And notice when we click on a face, we have that navigation. You can see down here, red still stands for the X axis. And in most programs, there's usually a standard, like Y will be up, and then Z will be your depth, and X will be your width. So this would be I believe this would be the front of the object. It's sort of arbitrary, but when you're getting into gaming and stuff, it, it does matter. Okay, so now that we have this face selected, let's just slide it. So now we took our square and we made it a rectangle. Okay, so let's grab another face and slide that. And when you're done with that, you can either hit, you can right click and just go to object and that kind of takes you out of that mode. See, so now we're just in basic navigation mode when I hit W. And now that we have, we're going to undo that and go back to when it was a cube. Control Z will just undo everything for you. Go back, right click, go to object. And I want to show you a few more things before we go on to the next stage where we modify edges. So we have our move tool, but we also have our rotate tool, which is right here. And if you hit E, that'll bring up your rotation tool. And you can just, the way it rotates, if you grab just not on anywhere within this circle like this, it'll just rotate freely. Really difficult to kind of get something locked down there. But as you're doing this, if you look over here on the top right of my screen, you can see all those numbers just flying around. And say we wanted to put that back to its original rotation, just go through and hit zero. Zero, zero, and now it's back to its original spot. And you can do that for the movement we added to this cube as well. And now it's back there. And then remember to get back to the cube, we're just gonna hit F. Okay, so with rotation, the rotation tool though, which you hit E for the shortcut, or it's right here. So you've got regular move tool, rotate tool, and then we'll go over the next one after that. The best way to do it, I would recommend, is always grab it by a specific side so see we have you know the red the green and the blue and then when you rotate it notice over here in your panel it's going in nice like nice chunks and it's only rotating that one edge if it is snapping like this and you want a smooth rotation you can hold the j key and then we'll keep it smooth but I actually prefer the snap. I think it's good to have a snap. And then if you wanted to do a little bit of tweaking, you could just go in here and be like, oh, I want 32 degrees. There, it's 32 degrees. But actually, let's put that back to zero. And let's go to the last tool, and that's the scale tool. You just hit R. Well, it's the last tool for the kind of very basic ones. Once you hit R, if you grab it from the center, you scale everything in every direction. Notice the scale over here, we're up to 2.002. .002. Let's scale down. But also, remember how I showed you could move faces? You can kind of do a similar thing here. Now we're scaling just on the X, and that's actually scaling our faces, verts, and lines all together and just sliding them out. 
So I can use that. And another neat trick is with this, if you want to scale it just all out on its sides here, but not the top and bottom, you just go like this. And notice how it's still thinner. You can do the same like this. So say I made it like this. And now that's just scaling. So that's really useful. And we're just going to undo all that scaling. And you could either hit Control Z or just go through here and type these all back to one. Hit F and zoom back in. So there you've got your move tool with W, E is your rotate tool, and R is your scale tool. Okay, let's go back to the kind of basic construction of this object. Remember we had faces, and I mentioned edges and verts. We're going to go into edge mode now. And now with edge mode, you, you can select these different edges. And once you have an edge selected, so you can move just this one part of the component, but it's dragging its face with it. So there we can make a trapezoid just like that. Okay, undo that. And then if you wanted, you could basically move just like you're moving a face if we did multiple selections. To do multiple selections, you're gonna hold shift, see a little plus arrow show up. And we have this one edge selected. I'm gonna click this one, and then this one, and then this one. And now when we move, it's moving the whole face because you're selecting all the components that create that face. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's move on and we're gonna move some verts. So we're just gonna right click again and go to vert. And when we move a vert, it moves just the one component. It's dragging those edges with it. But yeah, so you can move it in space like that, or you can move it towards you. Remember I'm grabbing that flat moving tool. And then when you look around, see it's maintaining that structure. Let's undo that. And remember how I said you left click would just select? You can actually, it's a great way to select multiple verts, faces, etc. So now I can just go like this. One thing you want to make sure is when you do that, when you go like this and do a selection, you may have selected an extra vert back here. So whenever you do a big selection like that, just kind of look around a little bit and make sure you have what you want selected. Say I did this and I want to just des deselect that one. I could either go over here and hold shift and click it, but an even easier way would be just to hold control and drag across the area I don't want selected and then release. And that deselects anything within the rectangle I just created. So I can move that object like there. Okay. And remember, same thing, you can go with faces. You can select multiple, multiple faces by dragging like this. So I selected all the ones I dragged across. Or I could grab one, hit shift, grab another, hit shift, grab another. So that's kind of your basic, uh, basic object creation and navigation and kind of the basic construction of a shape in a 3D program. And just to go over that, we have it's the very lowest point is points and space of verts right here. And then those construct edges and multiple edges construct a face. So verts, edges, and faces. And then for our navigation, we've got W moves it like that. E rotates it, R scales it. And then for our basic navigation, hold alt with left click to rotate hold alt right click to zoom or use the middle mouse button hold alt and middle mouse to pan remember the quick shortcut of f to zoom into an object and remember that makes it the center center point so it kind of pivots around that shape and that's all we have for today uh, i'm going to make some other parts and we'll go in depth a little bit further and further as we go and i'll keep trying to go over the different checkpoints we've already done just to make sure everyone's on track here and if you like the tutorial subscribe and there's going to be more coming i'll probably do a multiple part series we can say this is part one or maybe they'll all just kind of be in their own individual tutorial i hope this helped and i hope you enjoyed it uh, leave a comment below and thanks for stopping by and i'll be back some other time <laughs> bye <laughs>